One, Ingushetia, is a Russian republic with a population of an estimated 330,000, of which 90% are Muslims. The state proclaimed Islam as its primary religion in the 19th century. Previously, the Ingush practiced Christianity and used to be pagans. Today, the state follows the Chechen preacher Kunta Haji and practices the Shafi'i school of thought. Ingushetia has the largest population of Muslims in the Russian Federation, and most of them dress similar to the Muslims in Indonesia and Malaysia. Mahmoud Ali Tov heads the state of Ingushetia and is a practicing Muslim. 2. Chechnya Chechnya is one of the largest Islamic states in Russia and was actually proclaimed as an Islamic Republic in 1997. Ramadan Kadyrov, the head, has memorized the Holy Quran and continues to preside state over the as a hardline protector of Muslim rights. Although the state's head has come under fire for regulating tough laws, the state itself is known for its diversity and, and scenic beauty. Chechen Muslims primarily follow the Shafi'i school of thought. 3. Kabardino Balkaria Kabardino Balkaria is a federal subject of Russia and is best known for its scenic beauty. Kabardino is home to the highest mountain in Europe, Mount Elbrus, and a population of approximately 9,000, of which 70% are Muslims. The Kabards and the Balkars of the region were among the last of the North Caucasian people to be converted to Islam and today they primarily follow Sunni Islam. The head of the Republic, Kazbek Kokov, oversees the legal and religious affairs. 4. Karachaysia is a federal state of the North Caucasus region of Russia. It boasts a population of half a million people of which 64% are Muslims. The State Republic is one of the most religious regions in Russia, and they have been known to spend their lives practicing spirituality. Until the 17th century, Karachais were primarily Orthodox. Then the Crimean Tatars arrived, and the Circassian Turks stayed until the mid-18th century. They were Muslims, and their influence led the Karachais to accept Islam. Today, just 14% of Karachai Cherkessia are Orthodox Christians. Their leader, Rashid Tamrezov, has established many rules to balance the religious the Karachais, but it's yet to be known whether he, too, is a practicing Muslim. 5. Bakhortostan, or Bashkiriya, large is federal republic of Russia, and it is located between the Ural Mountains and the Volga River. The beautiful nature is home to around 5 million people, of which 60% are Muslims. Islam was introduced in the region around the 10th century by the Volga Bulgars. A minority of population of Russian Orthodox Christians also live in the Republic of Bakhortostan, and they comprise around 17% of the total population. The native Muslim Bashkirs primarily speak Turkic, influenced by their own history with the Turk. The Republic of Bashkiriya is presided by Radi Khabirov, and he has been known to respect Islam. 6. Tartarstan is another large federal republic of Russia. It has a population of nearly 4 million people, which mainly comprises Tatars and Bashkirs. Influenced heavily by the arrival of the Turks in the late 10th century, the region converted to Islam and followed the ways of the Turkic people. Around 55% of the population of Tatarstan is Muslim. The other half are Russian Orthodox Christian. Given the massive number of both religions, everyone has the freedom to practice the religion openly. There are masjids on every corner of Tatarstan, and beside them stands a church. The balance is beautiful. 7. Dagestan is one of the oldest Russian republic with a Muslim majority. With a population of approximately 4 million, Dagestanis enjoy diversity to its fullest. There are multiple ethnicities in the region, all of whom speak different dialects, united under Islam. Dagestan is also known as a mountain of language and nationalities. Around 90% of the Republic of Dagestan follows Islam, and the rest practice Christianity. 
the famous mixed martial artist Khabib Nurmagomedov hails from the public of Dagestan and is a devout Muslim. He has inspired millions around the world with his kind attitude, gentle manners, and respect. This concludes our story of the seven Islamic states of Russia.